hi there this is Anjal Soni welcome to my channel in this video of tableau fundamental series I'll be talking about filters in tableau let's get started with understanding what is a filter when you want to limit the number of records um, or maybe if you want to give your users the ability to drill down to a specific uh, level then in that case we make use of filters and it is based on a specific condition so suppose you want to show only records for furniture category then you apply a condition on category wherein the value is furniture it is um, also possible um, that you don't make these filters available for users use and you just apply these filters at the development stage um, versus you can also give the ability the users to choose the values from the filters we'll see both of these let's see uh, the types of filters there are five types of filters and um, this is the order in which they execute extract filters get executed first followed by the all these other filters so suppose if you have an extract filter and a dimension filter in your workbook then extract filter will get executed first and based on the result that extract filter produces your dimension filter will get executed now let's start with understanding extract filters an extract filter um, gets applied when you create an extract if you don't know what is an extract then just go and check out my video on life and extract connections when you create an extract you have the ability to further limit the number of records based on a specific field uh, let's start this with understanding how your data gets ready for consumption into tableau um, from uh, the user interface the raw data gets stored into database it is not ready for consumption um, for a visualization tool um, so that data is given to etl teams who work on cleansing and preparing the data for uh, ready for consumption into uh, data visualization tools like tableau when they prepare the data it's not necessary that they are doing this preparation only for you it can be for other teams use as well so for you what you do is you get a specific table created for yourself wherein it has got only those um, columns or fields which would be required in your data visualization a few columns uh, here and there is fine having extra columns is fine but having too many unnecessary columns is uh, not a good practice because it consumes data load times and eventually impacts the performance of your dashboard so have only those fields um, that are uh, required uh, in your data visualization so this was the first level where you limit the number of records but but this happens before uh, the data gets available for tableau now when you switch to tableau further you have the ability to limit the number of records and there can be various reasons for this now since this is an example for extract filters this is your database um, now you want to build multiple dashboards out of this table um, it is also not good practice to have uh, different tables for different kinds of dashboards if the data is almost similar you keep one table and reuse it so how you reuse it and limit the number of records using extract filters and data source filters so create an extract uh, and limit the number of records for your dashboard one then when you switch to dashboard to apply the condition and extract only the required um, amount of data in that case you will um, have only the required data and your uh, data file would consume less size i hope this is clear 
Now when you create an extract filter over here, I want to extract records only for Florida state. So I will apply a filter on my uh, database table that um, give me uh, records only for Florida. And that's how my local file would um, get saved with Florida's records. Let's see this into action in Tableau. Let's connect to data sample superstore and let's create an extract. All right, you go to edit over here and that's how you can apply the filters. So let's add a filter on state Florida. Okay. Okay. All right. So over here, um, it will ask me to save this file. Let's save it. Uh, let's save this in hyperfile only. So dot hyper is the extension for your extract file. Um, let's open Florida and see which states records have got extracted. All right, let's bring in orders, shift one and state. So Florida, originally there were many states, but now uh, we have data only for Florida. So that's how you create an um, extract filter. All right. Now let's see the data source filters. Okay. Um, data source filters can be applied on extract filters or um, if there are no extract filters, which means you are connected through a live connection, your extract is not there, then your data source filters take the first position um, in terms of uh, limiting the number of records. So when you apply a data source filter, um, no uh, physical data gets filtered out. That does not happen. When you apply a data source filter, when the um, Tableau uh, dashboard any interaction happens then uh, when uh, a SQL query is written by Tableau in the backend a data source filter is added to extract only the required data and the uh, rest other filters dimension filters measure filters context filters get applied on this data source filter so it basically works in a where condition format in a SQL query. So let's see this into action in Tableau. Now I have an extract created. Now if I want to further limit the number of records, I will go here, add, and this is how I would be able to apply a data source filter. Right now my data source is the extract. So let's bring in data for uh, any of these cities let's see Hoover Houston Jackson Kent okay right now let's see here Oh, okay. I know why this is not working because these cities don't fall in Florida state. So let's remove this and apply a filter on maybe category. Furniture, office supplies. Okay, okay. See all these cities are showing up now. Category, furniture and office supplies. 
you can go and check your data source filters from here as well edit data source filters uh, so available at both the places data source page as well and over here as well um, generally I have seen um, the application of data source filters over extract filters because anyways we um, get the limited um, or the required amount of data only from the ETL team uh, in our table so then only data source filter is required if that um, if that date if that table is reusable if it is being used by multiple dashboards I hope this is also clear now let's see the application of context filters um, all right so um, context filters um, get applied on your sheet and this is a sheet level filter so your extract filter and data source filters were getting applied on your entire workbook okay this context filter you are able to customize on your specific sheets now in context filter what happens is again you can limit the number of records but since I spoke about the order of operations um, the order in which these get applicable suppose there is a filter on category and subcategory now these both are dimensions so these both will get executed simultaneously but if you want uh, a filter to get executed first and based on uh, its result the other dimension or measure filter should get executed then you have to add that field to context so this is what happens um, I have applied a filter on category categories IT then this is the table which I'll get and dimension and measure filters will act on this table and not the original table which is my uh, exact data source or you know um, the extract or database I hope this is clear here uh, let's see this into action in uh, a sheet let's build a sales by ship mode and let's add subcategory use all okay let's not use all let's just skip out a few values okay. now let's add in segment use all okay now if you want to so this is not visible to users as of now if you want to make this filter available for users you go here and select show filter select show filter now we want to add subcategory to context which means filter out the subcategory first and based on that give me the segment so you select this one add to context so now subcategory gets applied first and let's do only relevant values let's skip out a few other values I think um, all these segments have got all these subcategories so that's why we are not able to see um, any segment getting opted out but yes um, this um, segment is getting applicable on the result of subcategory there's another way uh, by which we can understand um, or actually see context filter in action uh, but that is slightly advanced level from here so I'm not um, taking that topic into consideration but it will surely come in my one of the coming videos um, there are many other options uh, when you want to uh, choose the way this filter would get displayed in your dashboard so you go here click on this arrow and these are the types of filters that um, actually get displayed so this is a multiple values list for now uh, this will consume this much space in your dashboard 
Generally, we use multiple values drop down. It consumes less space and does the same action as multiple values list. You can, if you want to, uh, want the user to choose only one option at a time, then just uh, go and choose single value drop down, which means only one option would be applicable at a time. Um, there's a wildcard match as well. So, Mm. let's see what all subcategories are there see so for art this subcategory has got applied so just go and try out these values now um, there is another important uh, aspect when you apply multiple filters suppose you have chosen these two filters or there are multiple others as well just go and choose only relevant values which will mean um, suppose for let's let's choose this to multiple values list and let's opt this out let's bring in category as well it would be more clear show filter all right see i'll opt out office supplies now and let's remove this subcategory from here show filter only relevant Yes. So now you see when I uh, remove furniture, the subcategory values get updated accordingly. When I remove office supplies and apply furniture, only office supplies values uh, get displayed to me in subcategory. So uh, always make sure that you make use of only relevant values. If you don't do that, then you know many other values will get displayed which are actually not there in your database so this was all about context filters and this is dimension filter as you have seen we have applied these as the dimension filter subcategory and segment we can apply a filter on order date as well uh, so these are the blue ones which will act as a dimension the green ones as uh, measure filters so let's see this one here you get to choose these values just like it was a dimension filter made up of a string values use all okay show filter and here you have the values if you were to choose any other value from the green ones which means the range of dates then you can choose the range of dates starting date ending date special relative dates which means you have the pre um, set period uh, which you can use and accordingly you can give the users the ability to um, choose from this specified period now the last one is a measure filter which means any numerical values which are there any uh, a filter on measure values let's do this on quantity orders count okay now we generally don't use filters on measures but if at all this is required you can make use of um, a filter on measure values um, so this was all about the filters um, in the end I have an assignment for you please go through this and try to build out the visualization um, and if you face um, any issues then just drop it in comment if you like my content then just share it across let me know and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already thank you